you know, why in the hell won't you stand up? Anyway, the, the PID, or proportional integral in derivative, uh, it, it takes three values from the same source at three different rates of input. By far the most complex portion of any balancing robot. Uh, and it must allow for acceleration of angle and a sense of how much power to deliver to the wheels to drive so it doesn't overshoot. All right, so I'm going to show you two different ways of how to tune a PID for two different types of balancing robots. You know, today's accelerometers are really awesome. All they do is they use gravity pulling on a weight attached to like three pressure or six pressure sensors inside of the chip itself to give you the outputs that you need from it. Now this is the gyro coming out of QC1. Now, if you notice, the red line is the center of balance line. It's sitting right around 0 0.5. And the blue line is the rate of change. So the faster, when I tip QT1 faster, you know, he the, the red line here actually changes and adjusts itself according to how far the pitch is, kind of like a heartbeat. You know, I can hit it like this, and it does not change the motor speed that much but if I do this and tip the robot back and forth then it's also taking the input from the gyro along with the rate of change and changing it this is tipping the forward backward you see the red line moving and this is banging on the table making the uh, accelerometer bump but the red line is not changing for the motors this is tipping that's banging you see the difference big difference so you're looking at yourself like how am I gonna do all that math there's no way I'm gonna be able to do that you gotta be out of your friggin flapjack mind uh, but the good news is Visuino does it for you you just have to change a couple sliders here and there put in your own little bit of thinking watch the next video part four which is actually implementing the PID and the Kalman filter into Visuino uh, and this one is is going to be a, a eye opener for a lot of people that have problems with the balancing robots because it's taken me probably a couple months to to feel comfortable to, enough to make a video and try to explain it to the rest of the world, uh, which nowadays can be so. Uh, anyway, I'll keep my feelings for myself. But anyway, uh, watch part four coming out uh, later today. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed today today's episode, and I hope it helps you out a little bit in building your own balancing robot. You know, you can build it out of anything. You can grab out a you can grab a stick out of a tree, tape a couple motors to it, strap on a gyro, glue a Arduino to it, uh, hook a battery onto the top of the stick with a piece of Velcro, and call it a balancing robot. It will work. You can do. It can be done. Don't don't think I'm fucking crazy. Well, I might be, but <laughs> anyway, it can be done. You can make anything balanced uh, as long as you're willing to put in the time to tune the PID, the common filter, input outputs, and your mappings. Uh, so let's just get on.